you don't want to run into a tree full of these bad boys. Like I really, I really don't want to do this. I've been stung many times before. Eyes over the next third. Ow, I, ow, I just got stung again. <laughs> Hey folks, this is David Fine with Keys Mods. This is our Wacky Worms segment. Today, we are gonna focus on a backyard bug called the Io Moth. Down here in South Florida, we've got a beautiful moth called the Io Moth. It's in the Saturnid family. Um, it's, a, it's a stunning creature. However, this is going to be a painful episode. Check it out. All right, so I'm here in my front yard. It's actually a backyard bug episode, but I'm in my front yard, and there's the road right there, right in the front yard. But in my front yard, I have planted a swamp bay tree. The swamp bay tree, we planted it here so we could possibly raise some spice bush swallowtails. This is their native host plant down here in South Florida. But we get a lot more often than spice bush swallowtails, we get Io moth caterpillars and when I, today when I got home from work I found a whole bunch of these stems of the swamp bay uh, just to totally defoliated like this when you see this and you're looking for caterpillars you know that a caterpillar is not far behind so we're gonna see if we can find some caterpillars uh, I, th I think there's gonna be some on here but the io moth is a beautiful moth uh, it's dimorphic the males and females are different the males are actually a lot smaller than the females they're a lot more yellow in color kind of like a rusty kind of rusty yellow kind of color on the forewing the females are larger and they've got a deeper reddish brown sort of ru real deep rust color uh, on the female and the females are a lot larger uh, both both male and female rest with their wing four wings covering the hind wings as common with most moths but when they're disturbed in, you know by a predator or so on the io moth will instead of trying to fly away they fly very slow if they try to run fly from a bird they're probably going to lose and get eaten so instead of trying to do that they have another strategy they actually will flash these beautiful hind wings that have these magnificent mimic example of these eye spots on them and i gotta say when you when they first flash those eye spots it looks like a big uh, bird or something like that that would try to eat uh, even the would-be predator. So I don't know how often it actually works for them, but it's pretty impressive display of mimicry. Um, Iomaws feed on a very wide variety of plants. They're polyphagous. They eat all kinds of things from oak, hibiscus. Uh, we find them down here in the Keys on lignum vitae, on palms, on mangro red mangroves. Uh, they love bay, anything in the laurel family, they love that stuff. So, And they have a very wide range all the way across the the, at least the eastern United States all the way up to Canada and uh, and they have a wide variety of host plants there but uh, io moths are actually pretty cool as adults they don't feed they actually don't have functioning mouth parts um, the adults only live a few days uh, females when they come out they'll put out that pheromone and within a within 24 hours after coming out of the pupa they've called in some males she's mated and she'll start laying eggs immediately and, uh, and they have a very pretty short life. But today we're gonna look for some caterpillars. The thing about caterpillars on the Io moth is they sting like crazy. They pack a punch. And I can tell you right now, whenever you see this kind of leaf defoliation, that the Io moth caterpillar is not far behind. And guys, check it out. Right here, we've got our first Io moth caterpillar of the episode. Guys, look at this thing. I don't know how well this camera picks up the spines on this guy, but there, this thing is absolutely loaded with these little tiny spines, thousands of them. And, um, and each one of those little spines acts like a little hypodermic needle. And if you touch it, it's an urticating hair. They uh, inject you with some kind, of, some kind of venom or toxin and it hurts, man. It hurts, it burns for several hours. Um, and certain parts of the body. I've been stung many times. I've raised them in the laboratory. Another thing that you can look for when you're looking for caterpillars is you always look for frass. When they, when they, uh, when they go to the bathroom here, 
the, their frass go, got to go somewhere, so it gets caught a lot of times in spider webs. So there's an example here of some frass pellets caught in spider webs, and you can see it all in here. And actually, all throughout this tree, there's little spiders, and they have frass all over them. So um, another little trick to find caterpillars. Well, because I love the Keys Mods audience so much, I'm going to actually show you what it's like to get stung by one of these guys on camera so like I really really don't want to do this I've been stung many times before it's not fun but if you just kind of touch those spines just a little bit ah, yeah that hurts okay it burns Whew. yeah uh, an acute burn uh, it lasts um, the last time I got burned by a, an IO moth caterpillar it lasted probably uh, two hours or so. Uh, it intensifies over the next third. Ow, ow, I just got stuck again. Uh, it probably lasts about two hours and, um, you know, it's uh, it goes away after a couple hours though. But if you're going to get stung, the fingertip is the place to get stung because uh, the back of your hand or or your leg or something like that, the skin is a lot more sensitive than it is on your fingertip. But those little spines are just covered with like little tiny hypodermic needle looking, uh, looking things. So you don't want to run into a tree full of these bad boys, all right? Io moths are actually heavily parasitized by an ichneumon wasp down here. Uh, actually, a lot of the caterpillars we find, um, an ichneumon wasp winds up hatching out of it. So there's a very, very heavy parasitization. But um, I think I'm going to collect a few of these and raise them inside. But guys, that's all we have for today. Uh, if you've liked this episode, I think I've earned a like. I think I've learned a like. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a uh, subscribe to the channel. We get you more videos like this as we show you the wacky worms of South Florida. We are on Facebook and Instagram, so follow us there. Um, we're going to raise this guy and we're going to get you guys some really cool video of the adults. So until next time. Enjoy South Florida. Watch out for spining caterpillars. Take care. Bye.